If you guys watched last week's video, you know I pretty much got the Venture Perimeter Trail all cut in. And I was able to give it a little sneak peek test ride, even though it was snowy and ugly. But I wanted to get on my bike and just go for it. It was a lot of fun. I think this trail is going to work really good, especially once we get it all dialed in. So that brings me to my next point. We got this big rock roll feature here I'm going to work on this weekend and maybe some other stuff depending on the weather. I don't want to get stuck up here. I got to catch a flight next week. So I'll keep an eye on that very closely. Let's get into some time lapse action and start building this roll out into the Venture Perimeter Trail. I saw some mountain lion tracks over there not too far. So I gotta watch my back out here. So this is what I'm talking about. I need to fill in this. So I gotta hunt down a bunch of rocks, clean that out so it gets into the trail line. And then right over here, I got another little rock. I think I'm gonna clean that out a little bit right there and turn that into a drop. Then you'll have the easy line coming in between, no feature. On the back side of this big rock right here, there's a giant crack I need to fill. Fill my crack in right there. And I think I'm going to have a little bit of a downhill and back up just like a little bit of a camel hump. I'm a little worried about that though. I don't want people sending this. This is meant to be a roller, not a jump. A lot of building material right up here, so I'll ease these rocks down into the place and bring them right down. Fill this in and start getting to work. This is going to be a really good feature. We want to have a bunch of things like this at Everstoke. Wood rolls, rock rolls, everything we could find. Let's get to work. Check it out, just gotta do a little bit more locking in, maybe a little dirt to kinda make sure nothing moves. It's getting a little soupy in here to work. I'll have to rake this out when I get a chance. Let's take a look from up above, starting where that stump is. All right, let's do a little bout face right here. And then, so this is cool. We got three to three lines right here so far. Got the little drop down to there. Nice, easy little roller. We're coming right up onto this rock. And right down there. Beautiful. It's badass. I think it's time to get back to the trade quarters. I did a lot of stuff before this and I'm getting kind of tired and it's getting kind of late. I'm gonna check the weather and stuff. I might do a little bit more touch up right down there by the creek thing before I head out. But that will be it for this feature. Hopefully the weather will cooperate and we'll start tackling the next. So now we moved on to the next project. We're gonna start working on the wooden switchback we talked about here on the other side of Adventure Perimeter Trail. Dan's gonna start getting some posts. I'm going to start digging the post holes. It's going to be a huge project so we're just focusing on trying to get the framing done and the planks will happen another weekend. Let me get the time lapse so I could get into this action with Dan. Yeah, a little helper here. 
this is what we got going on so far. Got some temporary cross beams in place. Got the posts kind of where we want them. Then that way we'll cut them to height. We're going to start from here. Then we'll put, you know, cross beams, lock everything in place and work our way that way. So right now we're just working on a visual. It's been pain in the ass so to work on this hill. Super slippery, very steep. Dan has just found a nice cedar, dead cedar log. He's carrying all that stuff over here. And I'm trying to put him in position as he brings him over. It's slow progress, but at least we're getting the hard stuff kind of out of the way. So next time we get a full weekend, we should be able to just kind of finish her up. Hopefully, that's the plan. It's a big, this is a big switchback, so it's going to be who knows how long <laughs> it's going to take. But once we get this done, the entire venture perimeter trail is going to be complete, except for like pimping it out and all that good stuff. Adding features. All right, back to work. All this. I think that'd be more fun. Which <laughs> hop, what was the hop and bottom, remember? Um, I think the... That was the bottom. This is going to fit. So it was all the way up here for it. Yeah. This board's definitely not... Probably. Are we? You got enough meat for that next run? I mean, as I got a lot, I got a lot of extra here. The tighter the better, honestly. I mean, it's, as long as it doesn't break it off. Yeah, it's starting to. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going this way. Pop it out. I'll, I'll trim this fat side a little bit. Okay. Underneath. Yeah, I can't uh, get a good angle. Uh, this needs like a little bit. I can see what I did. It's because this whole piece is. Yeah, it looks like it just needs. as I wanted it, but That's close enough here that now I think this whole thing we can start, boom, you know? Yep. Look at the bridge down there. That looks cool. Anyway, been doing a lot of bench cutting, finding a bunch of rocks, using them for the foundations over there. We're going to wrap it up for this weekend. <laughs> they turned out to be really good, but this is like the sloppy mud that we've been dealing with. Okay, Dan. You can see the structure we got. It's all pretty much laid out. We got the game plan finally getting formulated here. And we started getting everything, as much as we could get in place. This is where they put the rocks, right here. We got a lot of shimmying, shimming and changing and bolting and all sorts of stuff to do right here, but we're making good progress. Just, we have to wait till it's a little drier, but I'm glad we got this started. So next time we get a dry weekend, we're gonna be able to hammer this out probably. Anyway, let's uh, head back to trade quarters, close out this video. I probably won't be making a video next weekend. I, like I said, I'm watching my daughter graduate from Army boot camp if all is, if all is still on schedule. Hopefully we're not going to get hardly any more snow this year so we can continue forward with all our little projects, improving berms, finishing that wood switch back, raking out all the trails, and getting ready for March and having an awesome ride season. I'm actually surprised how much we got done. The weather worked with us pretty well. I hope that it continues to do that in the future. I do appreciate you guys following along on all my rides and builds. Be sure to make life an adventure. Come out to Everstoke and ride or help trail build. Thank you very much.